Let's take a look at UModel diagramming features. UModel supports all 13 official UML diagrams with intuitive drawing and editing capabilities. In this example, we'll explore some of the UModel diagramming features in a use case diagram. Let's say we've been assigned to develop a home banking application. A UML software model will let us visually design the application logic before writing any code. Code generation will speed our progress, and later, when the application is complete, the model will be part of the project documentation. Use case diagrams will help us document the project requirements and set goals for our application at a very high level by illustrating how users, called actors, will interact with our application. We can create a new diagram by clicking Use Case Diagrams in the convenient UModel Diagram tree. Then we assign the package that will contain the diagram. A package in object-oriented programming organizes a related set of classes and interfaces. UML extends this concept to organize diagrams and diagram elements in packages as well. UModel opens a blank canvas for our diagram and adds a special toolbar for quick access to the elements we'll need, opens the package in the model tree, and sets the properties window to focus on the new diagram. UModel offers several ways to insert use case actors to represent our application's users. We can select the actor icon from the toolbar, then click the cursor in the drawing canvas, or we can open the right-click context menu and select new actor from there. Either way, UModel places the UModel default actor figure into the diagram. The actor's legend is highlighted, and we can type a new identifier directly in the diagram, or we can edit the legend in the properties window. Let's do that now and change actor1 to standard user to represent a typical user of our home banking application. Now we'll add some use case ovals and name them. The UML drawing notation uses ovals to denote actions performed by use case actors. We can work very quickly with no concern at the moment for lining everything up neatly. Once the use case ovals are created, we can select them all and use the layout toolbar to make them the same size, align them, and space them evenly. Now I can drag the entire group into position. Now we'll associate each use case with the actor. We'll select the association arrow from the toolbar and drag a connecting line from the actor to the oval. As I move the cursor across the drawing canvas, it changes to a plus sign to indicate a valid source. Once I've selected a source, possible destinations are highlighted in green when I roll over them. UModel also lets us draw associations without using the toolbar. I can select the user, click the Association Fast Editing button, and drag to the oval. For this example, let's use direct lines as the default, but UModel offers other line styles too. We could choose orthogonal lines or custom lines. If I need to reshape any individual line, for instance to avoid other elements in the diagram, I can grab a line segment and position it anywhere I like. Unlimited Undo is a convenient UModel feature that's always available, regardless of which type of diagram we're working on. I can click the Undo button to trace my steps backward, and if I go too far, the Redo feature lets me go forward again. Of course, it's easy to enhance our use case diagram with Include and Extend Elements. I can select from the toolbar, or take advantage of the fast editing buttons. We can dress up our use case diagram by taking advantage of two special UModel features. UModel lets us assign any bitmap image file to represent a use case actor. We could create our own custom image, but for this diagram, let's assign one from the library included with UModel. Next, let's attach hyperlinks to diagram elements. A hyperlink can reference an external file such as a user story, another UML diagram in our model, or a web link to a URL on an internal network or on the internet. Other team members reviewing our diagram can roll over the hyperlink icon to see a description of its target. 
We can even add more than one hyperlink to the same element to create a pop-up menu. We can save any U-Model diagram as an image file to paste into another document as part of the project documentation, or we can print the diagram using any installed printer, including Adobe PDF. This brief demonstration showed just one of the UML diagrams you can create with Altova U-Model. U-Model supports all UML diagram types with similar capabilities to help you easily create clear and attractive UML models to design and document your own software projects.